This spring, I think we're going to see continued enormous sales growth. That's driven by Chinese clients coming to Hong Kong and buying across categories and driving our business to new and probably unprecedented levels. We had on display this week at the entrance of our exhibition some notable pieces that Sotheby's had offered in the last few decades and many of them uh, were world records. I was actually very proud to see that not only Asian buyers were participating in those sales, they were the ultimate buyers for some of the objects and that they're really making a footprint in the collecting history worldwide. There is a real security in what they buy at Sotheby's. They know that the quality of our expertise means that the property we bring to market is appropriately estimated and that they can buy with security knowing that our sales room is transparent and is operated in accordance with the most rigorous standards that are possible in the industry today. We started auctions last year in Hong Kong and they've been increasing in size and frequency ever since. I mean, the sales have amazed us so far. I think uh, we, we're yet to, 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 to not sell a lot, so we, all of our sales have been 100% sold from the very beginning all the way through the sale. Well, today was a great sale for Bordeaux lovers, and one of the really special elements of the sale today was the fact that all these top wines existed in all bottle sizes. So it gave people enormous choice. 120 was in at 120, 120. We've realized that Asians have a very special relationship with wine. Asians are very gastronomic. Uh, they are very interested in food and cooking. And, and yeah, Asian clients love drinking and sharing wine, which is yeah, the fun part of working with them. In our wine auctions now, is live internet bidding. He's in against the online bidder at 160, 170 online. Online at 170. Which has proved a tremendous success because people can do it from their home. Uh, it's very immediate, it's very easy, and it's very accessible. We first of all understand why they want to buy wine and then we recommend, make recommendations as to what they should buy to help develop their collection. Well, when we first saw the painting, I mean, immediately I was mesmerized. That painting we just sold. Um, it's the first time ever uh, a Bali life subject matter of that size, a meter by two, a potential come into an auction market. But for big format Bali life paintings as such, uh, there are no more than 30 pieces around, and uh, of which majority of the pieces were done on board. To have a piece on canvas uh, is a gem, and the rarity itself is a, is a, is a big enough factor to, to draw in the collectors. I think when we first started, um, um, collectors from their respective countries uh, would only buy paintings or artists' work from their own country. But lately we've seen actually quite speedy uh, growth uh, you know, seeing this cross-buying phenomenon uh, because uh, we're now seeing Indonesian works purchased by Filipino art, uh, collectors. We're now seeing Indonesian collectors buying Thai paintings. I mean, the category is actually now growing quite rapidly. We're now actually allowing the category to be more exposed and that actually will help the artists by providing a platform for them to showcase their work to a wider audience. in uh, recent years is there's a great demand for uh, 20th century Chinese paintings. These great 20th century masters have been able to use oil, which is not a traditional Chinese painting medium, to depict and create beautiful images of things Chinese, be it still life, landscape or portraits. A lot of the buyers from mainland China are now actually buying beyond the traditional collecting categories. For example, the buyer of this Jawugi painting, for years he has been our top uh, collector in ceramics and Chinese works of art. But then recently he took great interest in 20th century art. Bidding was fierce from the room on the phone and I was actually bidding on behalf of a collector 
for this top lot of Jiao Wugi created during his transitional period that actually fetched over Hong Kong $20 million. And we just all along help and provide advice uh, with our collectors to help them uh, build the collections throughout the um, collecting journey. I think this year, the development of modern art is very interesting. The modern art is very interesting. The modern art is very interesting. Actually, the modern art is very interesting. When it started, many of the foreign artists came to Beijing to work at the University of Beijing. At the time, many of the foreign artists' lives were not very good. So, when the foreign artists came to the University of Beijing, they would be able to get a couple of pieces of art to take to the United States. So, many of the Chinese artists of the early modern art were in the United States. Like this piece of art, it is about war and war. So, it is very interesting to see that the work of the artists of the early modern art is a very important part of the work of the artists of the early modern art. The artists of the early modern art are in the United States, from the United States. 乡下来到呃北京这个城市，一个个人的对一个社会的一个感受。It's important as well, I think, to have a good understanding, a good feel for what's happening um, with, with private sales, to,、yeah. to get good quality market information of pictures which are changing hands outside of the auction、yeah. market,、mm. so that we have an idea of where the, where the true price level is. And I think that、yeah. gave us confidence、uh, in this sale to,、mm. to price some of the.、Mm. Top quality early 1990s yeah, works yeah, at, a, at a higher level.、Yeah. As we saw today, when a great piece from that period does come up, there are collectors with、um, incredible taste who recognise the importance of these works.、Yeah. This is a historical piece, early work, and also being exhibited in a major museum show of the artist. And, and he has museum shows all over the world, so people、mm. see him work. He has strong support from all, all parts of the world. Yeah. In terms of the number of bidders, I think probably higher than any other lot in the yeah. sale. Yeah. We're talking about a you know two million US dollar painting, but there was there was good activity, deep activity, right to the highest level. Thank you. Sixteen million. Thank Shangshan在市場裏面多年都未曾出現過,而我們在處理這張作品的時間,我們也花了不少時間考驗它的來源和它的重要的地方,所以令大家在拍賣的時候興趣和精神慾望更高,而驅使到這張作品在國際歷史
Um, and this piece was limited to 150 pieces, but only 15 in 18K pink gold. Um, another good example of this in our sale was the um, skeletonized Patek Philippe uh, pocket watch. It's actually a dress watch with diamonds, which we had estimated at 200 to 300,000 Hong Kong dollars, um, but ended up selling four times uh, the estimate, uh, fetching 800,000 Hong Kong dollars. Again, a phenomenal result. Um, all of these pieces have come from private collectors' hands, uh, and we feel that provenance in that sense, um, you know, private collectors tend to treasure uh, their pieces. It's, it's, it's a great feeling when you, you know, buzz and the energy in the room today. Telephones were at max capacity. Asia's market is strong and supported by online bidding service to clients in Asia, and we managed to get, wow, over 100 registered bidders, um, and there was furious bidding uh, and underbidding throughout the sale. In the last couple of years, we have witnessed the strength of Asian and Chinese buying in the marketplace. And you know, over the last 20 years in Sotheby's in Hong Kong, we felt that um, we were able to see the buying patterns of the collectors here. And we felt that it was time for us to offer some spectacular lots. So it's the first time that we've offered four big lots above $30 million. We have the honor of actually selling a lot of beautiful blue diamonds. Of course, this one is special in the sense that um, it is from the legendary De Beers Millennium Collection of Jewels. This one particularly is called De Beers Millennium Jewel Number no. 11. And so it is an extremely rare opportunity for collectors here in Asia to be able to view this uh, diamond at the same time to acquire it for their collection. We felt that with the other two blue diamonds come following after that in Geneva, Sotheby's is very well poised to sell uh, top quality blue diamonds. This 年初那个时候呢我们其实曾经拍卖过一条全梨形的内部无暇的钻石项链当年的时候的成交价也是非常的好比那个高价的拍价还要高价然后成交那那个时候也刚刚有一个行内非常资深的收藏家他也非常认同
basically holding onto a very key moment in China's glorious history. One of the greatest examples of crossover we've ever seen in our cell was actually the pearl necklace that we sold. We had both an incredible amount of interest from traditional clients in our category who buy uh, Chinese ceramics, historical works of art, as well as very, very strong interest from uh, collectors of jewelry. I think this is the wonderful thing about buying at auction, the amount of choice, the amount of different materials represented, different dynasties. Uh, the auction gives you possibility to view, handle, and experience as many materials, periods in one go. When you come into the sale room, there are hundreds of people here all waiting for that moment, for that opportunity to buy a great object. And I think for any new collector to witness that firsthand, to actually be able to get a clear sense of what our market price is, uh, to get a clear sense of visibility, of transparency, that is always something that is both exciting and very reassuring. And this is what Sotheby's offers. Coming back to Hong Kong uh, after my seven years of living here and being part of so many of the historic auctions that we had in those days, it's very rewarding for me. It's something I love doing. Well, traditionally, of course, in Hong Kong, all the auctions are conducted in English. All done at 1 million, 250, 1 million, 3, I do the auctions in English, Cantonese, and Mandarin. Uh, knowing that we have a lot of Indonesian clients uh, in the audience, I would be having a greater rapport with the clients by speaking Bahasa Indonesia. And uh, for me, that's uh, a great advantage and a great joy to be able to uh, uh, speak in more than just English. The, the team here is extraordinary, incredibly hardworking. Um, it, it's something that I've always enjoyed about Hong Kong, the, the vibrancy of what's going on. Uh, and the buying public that is coming out of China is one of the most excitedly dynamic of any of the auction buyers I've ever seen. When the bidding is very, very intense, you know, the, the adrenaline that flows through you, you feel a real connection between the auction room and the client and the objects that we feel that we are actually creating something special. As an auctioneer, it really does give you great, great uh, uh, satisfaction and actually a great rush. Shufu比在亚洲拍卖市场举足轻重 1973年我们在香港创立了办事处举行了第一个在香港和亚洲的空间成功的拍卖会启动了整个亚洲拍卖市场树立了一个典范所以呢从 Sotheby's is blessed with leaders, managers, and drivers for Sotheby's business in Asia, with people who have got an enormous level of experience, both with Sotheby's and with the broader world of dealing with people of great wealth. They offer enormous sophistication and understanding of what's important to our Asian clients and can both interpret their interests to the rest of our organization globally and ensure that we focus our resources on the things that are most important to our clients from this part of the world. Uh, one of the attractions of a global brand is that our clients know that they can walk in the door of Sotheby's any place in the world and be treated with the same uh, level of service and expertise that they experience here this week in Hong Kong. Our Asian buyers now are not only buying in Hong Kong, uh, they're also now participating uh, in all sales centers all over the world. And are buying impressionist paintings, contemporary paintings, jewelry, watches, not just in Hong Kong. This week we also brought um, impressionist and contemporary highlights from our forthcoming May sale in New York. And what was very reassuring, it was not only to see the interest level that was shown from um, existing buyers in that category, we also saw a lot of new faces in the exhibition and the interest shown was phenomenal. What we find is the clients in Asia are very interested in the key artists of the Impressionist in early 20th century, Monet, Picasso, Matisse. They're broadening their horizons as collectors, they're developing the international component of their collections and we're responding to that and making the works more readily available for their viewing by coming here during your sales week. 
there was a little national pride involved in wanting to kind of close the price gap between the the multi-million dollar objects that they saw on offer with those of the Chinese. And I think that gap is really closing soon. Well, you certainly saw that today with the uh, imperial necklace, uh, with the seal, uh, and some of the Chinese objects making really, truly record prices uh, and really are knocking at the door of uh, some of the top priced objects that we traditionally see in London and New York in our high-end fine art sales. We see buyers who want to buy the best in each category. Now they compete at the top level in all the categories. You know, there was no limit to how much they were prepared to spend, but the idea was just to secure the best object, which is actually very exciting for us because new buyers mean um, excitement and you know, adds to the vibrancy of the market. We could not have achieved this highest result in the entire history of Sotheby's in Asia without the fierce participation and spirit of bidding from Chinese um, collectors and buyers. We work with clients over many, many years and we're part of the journey with them as they build their collection, as they see new and different things. And I think what's interesting for Sotheby's is that all our experts, all of, all of us here, are there to help and to facilitate this collecting process. I will tell you that the number of people and the level of interest in these sales in Hong Kong this season is unlike anything I have ever seen in my life. The level of people, the number of people, the urgency and the passion with which they're looking at great works of art is a new threshold and a high watermark in my experience over the last 30 years.